Whether you're a pro looking for your next upgrade or you're done with the bedroom and ready for the big leagues, picking the right premium DJ controller can be a real pain in the ass. But I think I can help. My name is Switch, and my friends at the DJ's Guru have put together a list of some of the best DJ controllers that you can get right now. This list is in no specific order, and this is not a review. We like all of the controllers on this list, and the goal today is to break down some of the biggest and best options available in DJ controllers right now. So let's jump in. The Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus is a Swiss army knife of DJ controllers that can cater to any DJ style. This is a standalone system, which means it has a small dedicated computer built into the controller, so no laptop is needed. It's great for clubs, corporate events, cookouts. You throw any gig at this thing and it'll just keep on smiling right back at you. Part of what makes it so versatile is the ability to accept music from practically any source, physically or virtually. The Prime 4 Plus has a two and a half inch drive bay so you can add a hard drive to it, but it can also accept sources from one of the four USB inputs, an SD card, and you can connect up to four external players or turntables thanks to the four phono line switchable inputs on the back. In addition to the hardware options, the Prime 4 Plus can also stream music from Beatport, BeatSource, Tidal, SoundCloud, and even Amazon Music, which makes this one of the most genre agnostic controllers ever created. Two of my favorite features for the Prime 4 Plus are the integrated lighting control and the dedicated zone controls. With the integrated lighting control, DJs can link any compatible lighting fixtures to create a dynamic light show that can synchronize with the music they're playing. Not only that, but DJs can create their own light scenes and save them in the onboard system for future gigs. The dedicated zone controls allow DJs to send a separate mix to a lounge or cocktail area, which means you can control the dance floor music, the lounge music, and the lighting all from a single device. One last thing we need to talk about with the Prime 4 Plus is something that will come up again with other controllers on this list, and that's the stem separation. DJs who are familiar with Serato and Virtual DJ have had the ability to separate stems for some time now, but what's unique about the Prime 4 Plus is that it's the first standalone system that can create separate stems on its own. Being able to separate the vocals, bass, and drums has changed the way DJs are mixing their tracks, but the Prime 4 Plus allows DJs to set up and save all of those stem controls without a computer, which is part of what makes it one of the most advanced controllers in the world. The next controller on this list is the Pioneer DDJ FLX10 or Flex10. The Flex10 offers dedicated real-time stem controls, onboard lighting control, a robust mixer section that includes hardware effects controls, and Pioneer's excellent mechanical jog wheels. Replacing the DDJ1000 series controllers in the Pioneer lineup, the Flex10 works with both Serato and Rekordbox DVS software. Serato users will feel right at home with a familiar layout that includes four channels and 16 pads, but switching to Rekordbox will unlock the ability to use the DMX output on the back of the Flex10 to set up lighting fixtures and scenes within the software, giving you full control over your light show. Just a quick note, Rekordbox is constantly updating the library of supported lighting fixtures available, so just make sure you have the latest update and your DMX lights should work seamlessly without an issue. The Flex 10's dedicated stem controls work natively in both Rekordbox and Serato, and the process for both is almost completely seamless. Want to remove the drums? Push the drums button. Vocals? There's a vocals button. Instruments? Same thing. With the Flex 10, it really is that easy. In fact, it's so easy that it just kind of works. And it works pretty well. So awkwardly, there just isn't much more to add here. Uh, let's move on. The Flex 10's mixer section will feel pretty familiar to anyone who's used a DJM series mixer. Four channels, dedicated effects, phono line switches on the channels three and four, all of which feels comfortable and performs as expected. They even included a Magvel crossfader, so you know you're getting a level of professional quality and reliability the Pioneer is known for. But even though I'm not supposed to play favorites on this list, the one feature that stands out for me is how satisfying it is to play on the mechanical jog wheels. 
Obviously the wheels aren't the only feature worth considering on your next controller, but having played on most of the hardware out there, I can confirm the Pioneer has really perfected the feel of their jog wheels. And anybody who's played on a CDJ 3000 or a DDJ 1000 would feel right at home on these. Okay, speaking of playing favorites, let's put cards on the table. Anyone who has seen other videos from me on this channel knows that I'm a rain guy and I have been for a long time. The rain four is no exception. Although the Rain 4 doesn't feature any lighting or zone controls like some other controllers on this list, Rain instead focused on some really interesting performance features that we haven't seen anywhere else. The mixer section is four channels with a dedicated onboard effects, a fantastic Rain preamp for vinyl folks with phono line inputs on channels three and four, and one of Rain's user serviceable Mag4 crossfaders, making it easy to keep your faders clean, smooth, and working like new for longer. The Akai made performance pads are some of the best in the industry. The platters feel great and the whole thing is built like a tank just in case it falls off a stage or gets dropped by a roadie with butterfingers. But the big party trick that makes the Rain 4 truly special is the stem split feature. Most other controllers will have stem controls that allow you to engage and disengage certain stems like vocals, drums, etc. And the Rain 4 has the ability to do that too. However, Stem Split takes it a step further by allowing the DJ to assign vocal or instrumental stems to each of the four channel faders for much higher levels of control. As far as I know, there is no other controller available that has added this feature to their faders. So if you're the kind of DJ that doesn't need built-in lighting controls and wants a higher level of control over your stems performance, this is going to be an excellent option for you. The next controller has proven to be an absolute no compromises monster of a machine since its release. The DDJ Rev 7 from Pioneer DJ offers a full mixer section that's almost identical to their S7 mixer, a battle style layout, and some of the best effects available on any DJ equipment anywhere. But if we're gonna run down some of the features of the Rev 7, we have to start with those big motorized seven inch jog wheels. Anybody who spent years training their muscle memory on turntables will feel right at home with these spinning platters beneath a disc designed to feel like an authentic seven inch record. And to add some more modern functionality to those platters, Pioneer also includes screens in the center of each platter that can read out things like track info, BPM, waveforms, or even a custom logo graphic for that extra level of branding. The Rev 7 has every pro feature that any performing DJ could want, including Pioneer's Magvel crossfader, phono preamps on each channel, dual USBs for seamless transition between DJs, and 22 onboard effects that can be used with external sources like vinyl. But the Rev 7 doesn't stop there. Pioneer threw everything they had at this thing. So DJs can enjoy dedicated controls for key shifting, dedicated controls for Serato's scratch bank, and even an instant scratch function that uses onboard memory to store a few scratch samples that DJs can recall at the touch of a button. The Rev 7 has even more unique features, too many to mention in this video if I'm keeping it real, and it's built for the turntablists and performance DJs out there looking for an all-in-one solution. So including it on our list of favorites right now is a no-brainer. Last up on our list for today is the Pioneer XDJ RX3. If you're looking for a standalone piece of performance hardware that doesn't require a laptop, this might be an excellent choice for you. The RX3 has a big 10 inch screen at the top and a two channel layout that will be familiar to any DJ who's played on CDJ based club setups over the years. It features two full XLR combo jacks for microphone inputs, two line and photo preamps for connecting external decks and two USB plugs on top for connecting thumb and hard drives. One other feature of the RX3 that gets overlooked in my opinion is the internal power supply that uses a standard IEC cable. I know it's kind of a boring feature by comparison, but any real working DJ will tell you having a device that can rely on a standard IEC power cable could be an absolute lifesaver if your normal power cable gets accidentally left at a venue, packed in the wrong bag, or somehow got left at home. If you need that extra level of reliability and you want a standalone system for DJing, it might be worth taking another look at the RX3. That's gonna wrap up our list of our favorite DJ controllers right now. If you wanna know more about any of the controllers on this list or learn even more about any of the controllers we featured today, 
definitely check out the link in the description below to the DJ's Guru blog, where you can not only take a more in-depth look at these devices, but you can also check out the XDJ XZ, which made our honorary mention. I go by DJ Switch PDX on all the socials, and I gotta give a big thanks to the DJ's Guru for having me back to collab. If you found this helpful and want to learn more about DJ tips and gear in the future, make sure you subscribe to the DJ's Guru for more videos. And I definitely recommend checking out my latest video, breaking down all the reasons to use an external mixer at your gigs, which you can find on the DJ's Guru YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.